DIY peplum shirt refashion project that's coming up. Hello Fashion Sewer, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're looking for clear and concise sewing tutorials, consider subscribing and let's get started. For this peplum project you're going to need two shirts. So I've got two shirts here, they are identical. They don't have to be, it's all about you. This is the first one and this is the second one. The reason why you need two shirts is because we're doing a gathering, so you're going to need about you know double the amount for the lower section of the shirt. So here I have two pins. This purple pin here, this represents my waistline, and then the second pin represents the cut line. So this will be the stitch line along here, and this is where we're going to cut the shirt, the lower section off, all the way across. So I'm going to have two lower sections and then two upper sections, but we're only going to use one of the upper section and both of the lower sections. So this is where I want my, or roughly where my waistline is. And this is going to be my cut line, which is just brilliant actually. That's just in line with that button there. So I'm just going to mark a straight line across and then continue that onto the other side. You know, if you want to make this whole process easier for yourself and depending on the amount that you want to have as your flounce, you can always cut it about in the middle so that you can avoid the buttons and you get a, a much more smoother run, but I like to make things difficult for myself. <laughs> right, so that's going to be my sew line. And then all that you need to do is just cut. And now we have two lower sections. That will be the flounce. And then I'm just going to keep one of the top part of the shirt. So we've got that and two sections that we're now going to gather up to make the flounce. Now you have a choice to make. If you want to keep the button fastenings on, that's up to you. You can always cut them off. I'm going to keep them on and then I, because I want this button detail to be part of the flounce to the shirt. So the next thing to do is to, I'm going to have just one button here, so it becomes one whole section, is to button that, remove that button, and then once that button is removed, which I'll do shortly, you're going to create yourself a whole like one section so I'll just show you you see it just becomes one whole section and this is what you're going to be gathering so here we have the lower section the peplum and as you can see we have this beautiful gathering stitch at the cut edge of the top of the peplum and I have actually done a video tutorial on how to do a gathering stitch. So here should be an eye, a circle with an eye in it, with a card, and I'll give you a link to that video tutorial. So once you've gathered the lower part, the lower section to your shirt, the peplum, the next thing is to lay it on your table, make sure it's on the right side, you're going to get the top part of your shirt, and you're going to place the right side of your shirt on top of the peplum. So we've got the cut edge here and here. 
So what you will then do is, that's if your shirt has this grown on facing, you will wrap that into the peplum section and then you're going to pin all along until you get to the end of the shirt. So now I have pinned the peplum to the top part of the shirt and it is now ready to be stitched. And then once we've done that, it would be a case of needling the raw edge, either with a serger or overlocker, or if you don't have one, with a, a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. So there we have our refashioned shirt into a peplum top or a peplum shirt. And we've got these gorgeous gathers. And this is the back of the shirt. And we've got this gorgeous button detail just in the centre back, which is so pretty. All I need to do now is remove the stitching and that is going to be a very pretty refattened project. So there we have it, a DIY peplum shirt refashion project. So I'm just going to remind you one more time that there should be an eye in a circle which is a card and if you click on that that will give you links to the gathering stitch and also if you're not sure how to finish off a raw edge I'll put some links to other video tutorials in order to finish off a raw edge with your sewing machine or with your serger or overlocker. One more thing before I go, um, the shirt that is just left with just the top part, if you have any ideas of what I could do with that in a sewing project please put those in the comment box below and I'll also put links to all those video tutorials in the description as well. So if you are wanting to make other comments, then that also goes into the comment box. Stick around on the channel for more amazing and awesome fashion sewing tutorials. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, do share the video, and I will see you next time.